Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, back again for another NHL 17 Hockey Ultimate Team Pack opening. I have a couple Ultra Packs to open up for you guys today, and boy do we have a lot of cards to go over this week for sure. So, I'll skip over the first two things. Boom, this is the second day of which EA has released a bunch of new gold cards into the game. There is just a look at some of the new ones they have released on day number two. They have released a lot yesterday as well for day number one, a couple of the cards getting upgrades as well, including Patrick Laine. So if there were any special items out of any of these players, you can expect to see them get an upgrade as their gold cards are coming out. Pretty much each and every day, I will assume that we're gonna see some new gold cards, but we have a chance to pull some of them. Some of them have pretty ridiculous stats, which I'll talk about in this video, but other than those guys, we still have a Milestone J. Bowmeister that's out, a player of the game, Rasmus Ristolainen, and the Team of the Week is scary good this week. It's probably one of the better Team of the Weeks that we have seen so far in the year. And as I mentioned, only five packs, but they are all Ultra Packs. Once again, we've been through the Ultra Packs before. 35 items, 7 rare players in them. And uh, we're going to be looking pretty, pretty nice for these. We might be able to get some of the new, like, non-rare base gold players in these packs as well. So let's get start a crack a lack and open these. And we shall see what we are able to get. Now, a lot of people have been complaining in this game with these new cards coming out that uh, they are, their stats are ridiculous, which I will agree. Some of their stats for the overall that some of these players are, are quite ridiculous to say the least. Now, do I agree with them to some extent? Yeah, but am I shocked? No because of the fact that I've been playing franchise mode or GM mode for the longest time in NHL 14, 15, and 16, I've always noticed that in GM modes, the younger players always tend to have, especially which most people are complaining about, is their skating stats are going to be a lot higher than you know some of the other players that you see in throughout the game. And it honestly, like I said, just doesn't surprise me that much that we're gonna see a lot of these players have increased stats, especially in their skating department, because they're younger type of players. They should be a lot faster skaters than some of the players that have already been established in the NHL. Like guys like Travis Konechny and when you see Mitch Marner have like crazy skating stats already for their overall for their cards. And like I said, people are going to be upset for that, but it's, would you rather have like an 87 overall type of player or an 84 overall type of player like that? Or would you rather them still be like... Chris Terry and 79 overall. Uh, if they were like low end overalls, nobody would use them. So the fact that they're making them pretty high overalls, it makes makes them cards to be able to use. Like if I just wanted to go on Josh Anderson, like see even his stats are, you know, pretty decent, like 84, 84, 84. It's still not too bad for like an 82 overall type of player. That's still not the, like not the fastest type of skater out there, but still. Let's take a look at Kevin Fiala pulling a team of the week right there. Look at this acceleration, and agility, and speed. 90, 90, 89 for an 83 overall player. You would never use that type of like player if he was like a, like a 70 something type of player. You would never use this type of card. But the fact that his skating stat is so high, he makes him as a usable card. It's actually a pretty nice looking card too. 87, like I said, for his skating. His checking's not good, but once again, like I said, he's a younger type of player. 510. He's short, so that makes sense why his skating stat is going to be very, very nice. And he has two for, uh, that, that's it's a Trap, right? Yeah, that's, that's not bad synergy, too. And pull a team of the week, Kevin Fiala. Not bad. Not too bad whatsoever. Uh, let's continue to go here. Richard Ponick, uh, Kevin Porter, Frederick Anderson, Ryan O'Reilly, not too shabby. And Paul Byron, I think, is a new card as well. And like I said, people are overreacting. That's my take on it. They're overreacting. If you play GM mode, I could have told you a mile away that I would have seen it coming. All right, so two packs down. We did pull a team of the week, Kevin Fiala, in that last pack and a 87 Ryan O'Reilly. But we're still looking for some high-end overall cards here to go along with this, as well as some of the new cards. We've definitely been pulling some new cards in there as well, which is definitely nice to see. But we want to see if we can get any new ones. There's one right there, Seth Griffith on the... Florida Panthers and once again 88 all across the board for his skating stats I'm just glad that they made their stats usable for their skating stats at least like I said make some usable cards the more cards the more usable the card is the more people will use them trust me and they're going for crazy prices as well all right let's see here anything else good we're getting a lot of rare players but not the like kind of players I definitely want to get 
Dollback, I think, is a new one. Johan Larson, and there is that one. So another kind of pretty meh, meh kind of pack. I think we did pull an 87 in there. I'm trying to remember who it was. Don't remember off the top of my head. It was Logan Couture. That's who it was. Devin Dubnik in there as well. But let's move on to our last two. All right, last two packs to go here for our Ultra Packs. Two more left to go. Got a lot of the new cards in these packs and one of the new Team of the Weeks. But the Team of the Week is really nice. It's got like Claude Giroux, it's got Line A, it's got Crosby. It's got some really nice looking cards on that Team of the Week for sure. Hoping that maybe we'll get lucky and pull one here. But there's some Nathan McKinnon, 87. I mean, let's just take a look at Nathan McKinnon's speed stats. 93, 92, 93. All right, well, McKinnon is, is an exception because apparently McKinnon's card is one of the fastest cards in the game. So that's that's an exception to the rule right there. That's an exception to the rule. Nick Patan, I think that's new. Maybe. I'm not sure. Probably not. I don't think that's new. Uh, let's see. Anything else we got here? Craig Smith. Any new cards popping up here? Derek Stepan, Thorburn, James Reimer, Brian Flynn, Jalmerson, and Domingue. Okay. So nothing too crazy in this pack. Pull the 87 to Nathan McKinnon. He should go for a good bit because, like I said, speed kills in this game. And hopefully... We might get some luck here in our final pack. All right, our final ultra pack are right here. Seven rares. We're going to count the rares this time as well, just to see if we're going to get anything good in this one. All right. Bo Bennett's. All right, so we're looking for our first rares here. Who's our first rare going to be? Tyler Toffoli. All right, so there's one. Connor Hellebuck. There's one of the new players right there. 85 overall. Goaltender. Gold card for Hellebuck, 85. So 6-4 type of goalie. Maybe be, will be usable, but still. That's decent there. So that's two rares right there. We still have five left to go. All right, let's see. Uh, Aaron Ekblad, 87. Not too bad, but that's three and four. Uh, six. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. All right. Team of the week. Huh? Mike High Hoffman. I don't know where I was going with that at, at all. Alexander Wendberg. That's pretty nice. He's not a new card, I don't think. But... That's a good way to end it off with another nice little team of the week right there. Mike Hoffman, 88 overall. It's pretty nice. Net front presence and one-timer. But once again, look at Mike Hoffman's skating stats. 88, 88, 88. Cards that we just showed you guys were way, way, way much faster than that. But we got a couple of uh, a couple good cards in this pack as well. I will definitely take it. So we pulled, two, we pulled a couple of the new cards, which is nice to see. And you know what? We pulled two team of the weeks in Kevin Fiala and a Mike Hoffman. I'll definitely take that for sure. Considering that Hoffman might sell for a good bit and uh, maybe that Team of the Week Fiala might sell for a good bit if there's a couple Nashville Predator fans out there that might want to get their hands on that Team of the Week. But let me know what you guys' are, opinions are on these new gold cards. Uh, do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you think their overall should have been lowered? Or do you guys agree with me that having a higher overall, having a higher overall on these type of cards Although their stats may be ridiculous, it gives people a reason to use these cards on their team. It makes them usable. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe as always. And I'll see you guys next time for another pack. Home.